Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. We have so much news to cover in today's video, it's going to be insane. As some of you may know, we had the multiplayer reveal for Black Ops Cold War. It was absolutely insane. There was a live stream covering everything. You know, all the YouTube, bigger YouTubers have got gameplay posted up on the channel. This game honestly looks so, so good, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know, everything we found out from the live stream last night. You know, the new features, guns, how the game's going to play, like, all them kind of good stuff that you guys want to know, I'm going to be covering in today's video, so make sure you're watching right until the end so you don't miss out on anything you need to know. Hopefully, I've got some Black Ops Cold War gameplay in the background. If not, it'll be a random Warzone gameplay, but with any luck, it should be a Black Ops Cold War gameplay. Okay, hopping straight into the first thing. We have the Miami map confirmed. Obviously, you guys might have seen gameplay on this last week. It was leaked. It's like, it reminds me a lot of Plaza, of Black Ops 2. Uh, that's the kind of vibe it's giving off for me. It looks a very, very fun map. It's like sort of set at night time. Looks really, really insane. That is actually confirmed. Questionable one for me, which I was not expecting at all, is that there is actually tanks inside of multiplayer. I hated them in Modern Warfare, and I'm probably going to hate them in this game, but it is what it is. Obviously, there's going to be game modes without tanks, game modes with tanks, maybe on the larger scale maps that's ones with tanks. So that is something if you guys like the tanks then you're in for a treat this year. Speaking of maps, we saw a map called Armada, which is like a map we've never ever seen inside of any Call of Duty. Uh, it's a map with three ships and they're all connected with zip lines and there's water obviously around the ships. And you can actually go in vehicles on the water, uh, you can swim in the water like around the map. It's actually insane, it's a huge, huge map. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to play out. I'm not really a fan of huge maps, but it's so interesting and so cool to look at. Like I've never seen anything like it. It looks actually insane. Moving on to game modes. Control is back in the game, if you guys remember it off Black Ops 4, there's two teams, there's 30 lives per team, you've got to capture the objectives or kill, like take all the lives of the other team, it was a competitive mode in Black Ops 4, it was such a, such a great game mode, I really really did enjoy it, that's back inside of Black Ops Cold War, and Hardpoint, there is a new indicator which will show you where the next hard point is going to be. So if you're in the first hard point, you're unsure where the second one's going to be. It's going to tell you so you can already start rotating around to that. For me, mm, I'm a bit iffy on this feature. Uh, I don't think that will be in competitive. I think that feature might be taken out. I'm not sure. Obviously, if you're not familiar with the rotations, then... It's going to give the team a serious, other team a serious advantage, uh, and that's the way I think it should be. You know, if you don't know it, you don't know it. You need to learn it. Uh, that's just me. And this is a serious, questionable one for me, which I thought, what is going on with this one? Score streaks do not reset on death. Uh, but each streak has a cooldown timer to avoid a score streak spam. So for me, I don't really, I couldn't really gauge what was happening in the gameplay. I think I'm gonna have to experience it for myself, get it in hand. Because uh, to me, it just sounds like support kill streaks with a cooldown timer. How the cooldown timer is gonna work based on different streaks and all that. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see. A little bit questionable. I hope it's not rewarding the, you know, not as good players like Modern Warfare has. So like the Mo Modern Warfare, if you didn't know, is all designed for the new players, the less experienced players, and it kind of ruined some of the experience for me. So I hope that's not the case here. Otherwise, I might be seriously disappointed. Obviously, a kill streak is to go on a kill streak or a score streak without dying, and then you get rewarded. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this one's gonna work, where none of them reset on death. We have some very exciting news on Creator Class. Gunsmith is coming back into the game obviously from Modern Warfare that was actually on my wish list I loved how the gunsmith worked it's you know the creative class is so open and big there's so many things you can choose from for instance we have you know the sections on your creative class you can have an optic a muzzle a barrel under barrel body stock magazine and handle so it's like Modern Warfare so much variation you know makes for some interesting weapon variants that you can make yourself and a huge one for me which I did miss in this game is wild cards the ability to be ha to be ha to have two perk twos or two perk ones or blah blah whatever you want was uh, you know such a big thing for me I loved having you know more perks than you know somebody else perhaps if they weren't thinking like that it would definitely change the game you know it made it play differently I really really happy to see wild cards back in this game the wild cards we did see in the gameplay was danger close obviously which is to equip an extra lethal or tactical equipment and tactical equipment sorry should I say and you start with max ammo which is pretty sick we have lawbreaker which is equip any weapon in either slot and equip any perks so you know the perk system does seem to be working a little bit differently here I'm not 100% obviously until I get hands on with the game myself we have gunfire which 
unlocks three additional attachment slots for your primary weapon and perk greed which is equipped three extra perks which sounds insane we also have field upgrades added back into the game it says activated by you know l1 and r1 like it is on modern warfare and we have proximity mine we have sam turret we have jammer and we have field mine they're the only ones we saw so all seem pretty cool to me so far uh, kind of glad there's no specialists in this game and having well I think there's specialists in the form of skill streak so that's gonna be interesting to see another big one for me is the mini map returns to normal so if someone's shooting without a suppressor on the map you're gonna see them on your radar know where they are instantly I missed this so much in modern warfare and I still find myself looking at the mini map when I hear shots trying to gauge where they are and obviously I see nothing it's just a habit of mine it's literally muscle memory fixed in my head and I'm really happy to see it return inside of black ops Cold war we have a new mode as well called fire team which is a new 40 player category uh, with up to 10 teams of four which is insane where the action is centered around not just the operations in the field but also the environment they battle in which sounds crazy to me 10 teams of four that sounds insane i can imagine that being so much fun really really excited to give that one a try big news for me as well dead silence returns as it's called ninja in this game but thank god dead silence is back i don't know why it wasn't a perky modern warfare it made this game so hard to play the footsteps were so loud i mean thankfully i've got a pretty decent headset but if you didn't have a decent headset in modern warfare you are literally handicapping yourself so badly theater mode is also set to return there's been many times where i forgot to you know press the record button on my ps4 that will that will save the gameplay to you know my ps4 and missing out on some good gameplays that i've missed theater mode is going to eliminate that problem so i'm really really happy to see theater mode back okay and now we have a list of maps and weapons that we was given we the maps we saw in the alpha build obviously these are subject to change by launch there'll obviously be more maybe some might get taken out we have armada crossroads miami satellite and moscow then the maps we saw and the primary weapons we saw the ars was x and four the Krig 6, AK-47, SMGs, the MP5, Type 821 and the AK-74U. Tactical Rifles was the M16, the Type 63. LMGs was the RPD and the Stoner 63. Stoner 63, the classified LMG of Black Ops 1. That is nostalgic. Thumbs up if you remember that gun. Sniper Rifles, we had the LW3 Tundra. Pellington 703 and sniping in this game looks insane. I don't know if you guys have seen any of Testy's clips. They're, they're, they're insane. The sniping looks so good in this game. Secondary weapons, we got the uh, pistols, which is the 1911 and the Diamati. Shotguns is the Howard 77 and the Gallo SA-12, which is questionable. Shotguns as a secondary weapon. These best not be OP as hell, otherwise I'm going to be pissed. Launches, we have the Sigma 2. Perks, perk 1 we have Engineer, which is detect enemy equipment and score streaks through walls. Tank Mask, which is obviously, you know, minimize resistance, uh, well, maximize resistance, should I say, to flashes and stuns and immune to the gas. Flak Jacket, take less explosive damage. Perk 2 is Scavenger, we all know what Scavenger is, we play with Shamo from Fallen Players. Quartermaster, which is recharge equipment over 25 seconds, so pretty much restock in this game. Tracker, which you always see enemy footprints who have, you know, walked past you nearby, like recently. Perk 3, we've got Cold Blooded, obviously you're invisible to streaks. AI controlled streaks, that is. Ghost is where you're undetectable by UAVs whilst you're moving, planting or diffusing bombs, or controlling score streaks, which is pretty interesting. That's actually pretty sick. If you're controlling a chopper gun, obviously you're not moving, you're just laid down somewhere hiding. They're not going to be able to see you on the UAV, which is inc insane. And obviously Ninja, which is sprint more quietly and you're resistant to field mic. Not, sure, not really sure how field mic works, we'll have to wait and see. Tacticals, we did get the smoke grenade and the stun grenade and the lethals, the frag and the C4. So a very, very decent looking, you know, class list, like weapons list, equipment list. You know, it's looking pretty good so far. They also said that the Cold War is set to include a brand new leveling journey that will later connect to Warzone. So we're not actually sure what this means. You know, nobody knows what this means. I mean, just be prestiging. If there's prestige in, I'll be happy. You know, it's super sick that they're connecting it back to Warzone. Obviously, Warzone being so big and literally has blown up Call of Duty again. Like, back in the old Modern Warfare 2 days, you know, everybody's playing COD again. Uh, whereas, you know, the last couple of years, not many people were playing COD as well. Not as many, should I say. 
you know, so I'm super happy that they're keeping Warzone integrated and keeping, you know, the player base. Obviously, if it were just multiplayer, maybe a few players might stray away, but the multiplayer in this game looks, you know, insane. The swimming mechanics we're going to be seeing inside of Cold War are going to be the exact same as Black Ops 4, which is pretty interesting. Treyarch says that the Black Ops Cold War time to kill is slightly faster than Black Ops 4. I did feel like the time to kill in Black Ops 4 was slightly slow, but it's way too fast in Modern Warfare, so hopefully we'll have the perfect balance. Also, thank God there are no doors. Doors in Modern Warfare for me was so annoying. Literally gave you position away instantly. You had to use them very, very tactically. So I'm happy to see there's not going to be any doors inside of Modern Warfare. Black Ops Cold War. And lastly, to summarize, we will still be seeing seasons, you know, like the Battle Pass seasons, which is going to be insane. Uh, there's obviously going to be cross play between all platforms as well which is really really good cross progression between all platforms as well so it's going to be for your Activision account again so you might be on PS4 or PS5 when it comes out and you might want to switch over to the Xbox or PC you're going to be able to keep your rank keep everything the same you know as if you never ever left where you were left where before you know it's, it's going to ask really really good feature in my opinion there's no season pass so that's awesome so there's no you know buy you don't have to buy the map packs like you did back in the day uh, the battle pass and free post there's a battle pass and free post loan we weapons so you'll be able to unlock the new weapons that come out as dlc for free which is absolutely nuts and warzone integration i think the way it's going to work you'll not be able to play warzone from black ops cold war i don't think but if you hop into you know warzone on modern warfare i think you know there'll be some things like they like crossover if that makes sense i can't really understand how it's going to work just yet but i just know it will so if something happens in cold war it's going to happen in warzone something happens in warzone it's going to happen in cold war that's what they were saying uh, kind of hard to understand as of right now uh, but i'm sure you know it will it'll be pretty sick and yeah that's pretty much it so this video did drag on a little bit hopefully you guys didn't mind too much it's just so much news to cover this game honestly looks so so good it looks way better than modern warfare and i thought modern warfare did look pretty sick and it was a well i Obviously, I know it's a good game, and this one looks 10 times better, so I can't wait for the release of this thing. This year, I'm telling you, I'm going to be grinding harder than ever. You know I've gone hard in Modern Warfare, I went hard in Black Ops 4. I'm going harder every single year. I'm going to make our name for ourselves on this channel, I promise you guys. It's going to be insane. I can't wait. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. I'm going to be covering all Call of Duty. Cold War news all the way up until release. The beta is on October 8th, by the way, as well. So make sure you're looking out for that. It's going to be insane. I can't wait for this release. But apart from that, guys, make sure you guys are going down below and following me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them there in the description below. Make sure you're smashing the like button. And make sure you're smashing that subscribe button. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Protocols. Better we live to fight another day. Grenade. Withdrawal. Withdrawal.